Let's see. I should be live, I think. No. Two day oh no, that's not me. Hmm, hold on. Close that out. We're gonna go to Board Game Geek TV. Uh, huh. I believe I'm live. So I guess we'll find out very quickly. Uh, let's go to the main page. Oh, there I am. All right. We're going to try with a little Wi Fi today to see how things go a little bit. And let me just double check this. Boom. Okay, there I am. Sorry about that. Uh, getting used to this Twitch thing is a, uh, a little hairy at times. All right, so, all right, we got a good camera in front of us. I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to move that there and move that up there. So, <clears throat> let me get this out of the way. I want to show you some layer paints and stuff like that. And I want to show you some of the things that we're going to do. Now, um, I believe I'm live at least. Oh, 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 oh. We're just going to hold on just for a second. Keith Collins, what are we painting, brother? Keith, I'm going to be back in two seconds. I just want to make sure I plug into the internet. Um, I was trying wireless, but I saw it kind of flash yellow a little bit. I want to make sure that we have a good uh, signal, so just hold on, everybody. Give me two minutes. Ah, the most unprofessional painting podcast ever. All right. So anyways, I'm back. How are we? So what are we going to be doing? Well, I was going to, I had some things planned, but the weather in Florida has been absolutely horrible. And I mean, absolutely ridiculously horrible. Um, when weather's like this and you come home and it rains and rains, you can't prime something. So I had a project that I've been working with. Um, that, that I've been thinking about doing. And I like to do different things for s some of the people at work. So I have a desk and I usually put some kind of diorama on it. Um, I change it every month or two. It depends what I'm, I'm painting and stuff like that. And today we're gonna start a project um, that'll take today and maybe we uh, next Wednesday. Uh, yeah, it'll, it, we'll finish it next Wednesday. And then we'll be moving on to all the great stuff that, that we got from Gen Con. So we're going to be painting a lot of newer stuff and things like that. And, and what I want to do with this live segment is make it where we're painting stuff that you guys want to see painted. Newer stuff, you know, cult of the new kind of things. Things that you want blueprints for. But today, today... I'm using my imagination because I had gotten a dragon a while ago and I, I love dragons. I have this passion for dragons and um, I wanted to build a diorama. So let's, let's change cameras and show you the top down. Now, um, what I want to show you here is how big this dude is. Now, here's my hand, as you can see, and he's a pretty big dude. Okay. Uh, one other thing, if you are watching on Board Game Geek uh, TV, um, the Board Game Geek um, website, if you click on the bottom there, you can come right to Twitch and you can ask any questions that you like. Now, the one thing I wanted to do is I wanted to build this dragon. Okay, so I I based him black, 
And then I put a base color of, and we're just gonna lay him down for a second, and I wanna show you from the side view a little bit so you can kind of see what we're doing here, is I used a Mephiston Red, which is a base color, okay? And what that's gonna do is give us our initial base. Now, right now, if we look up top uh, again, and I'm gonna be moving, I'm gonna be moving this camera a lot because I really wanna keep you guys involved here. Um, the paint's kind of all over the place. That's okay. This is just a base coat. We are going to be doing a certain amount of things to really make this come together. But the most important part was I wanted to build a base for him. Okay. And I just took some, some basic board and um, these are like little wood chips. And then I took um, some spackling and put that over, over it. And then I just sprayed it and, and dry brushed it out. Now, what that does, it's going to build a beautiful base that we can put him on because this is uh, from the Reaper Bones collection and he just comes like this. So you pay all that money and you get this. Now, I made it so his foot actually kind of fits back there and, uh, and this front foot comes in here. Now, what I wanted to do, oh wait, maybe I got it wrong here because when I, I get him in here, I really want him to, oh, psh, duh, there we go. <laughs> Don't even know how I made my own base. All right, uh, and let's go to the side view so we can kind of show you what I'm looking to do. And then what I'm gonna do here is I think I'm just gonna have maybe an extension to this, all right, which I'll glue on and have some heroes here completely terrified. I think that's a pretty neat idea. What do you guys think? No, no, okay. So um, it's definitely, I've got to stop hitting the thing, so I'm moving the camera. I'm sorry about that. But uh, as you can see, the, the concept is to really bring out the strength of this dragon and make him look fearsome, like he's coming over that ridge and, and ready to cause havoc. And that's what we're looking to do. All right, but we got to make him look fearsome to begin with. So our initial... Our initial coat is that Mephiston red. Now, all in here, we want to have kind of like a, a bone, okay? Um, and then I want to work a bone plate into here. And then his skeletal uh, structure, we want to we want to work the bone in here. We've got, we, we've got these talons here that we're going to be working on as well. And then his face structure. Now, as you can see, I wasn't too worried about how his... I just got that, that paint on there, that base on there, but I'm gonna work on that. And of course, we're going to work his horns, of course, and make it a different color and really make it make it stand out a little bit. So right now, what I wanna do is, I, I, I really kinda of wanna take a red wash, a Karasberg red. I've got, yeah, I've got some here. And I'm gonna take a little bit, I wanna be a little more controlled with this because I really, well, I do and I don't. I want to darken up this red. I really want to darken out so we can bring out the skin. Hey, Tim, how you doing? And hey, all these here. So everything is right. So it can't be, can't be that bad. So what are we trying to accomplish here? Well, first of all, what we're trying to do is darken this red. This is a base of a red, but I kind of want to see what how dark and I'm gonna show you how this is from the top here. And I can use this, big, um, this bigger brush here because it's gonna do a lot more coverage and it's gonna do it quickly, but I wanna be very careful because I want this, I really want this to dry quickly and I wanna be able to move this and not have it pool as much. All I'm trying to do is darken this red because then I'm gonna build outwards. Okay, so I got my base in here I'm not too worried about the underneath. This is an old bottle, so we're going to go through it pretty quickly. So it's going to look like, uh, oh my God, you need a lot of paint. No, you don't. So we're going to, and maybe if we use the other camera view here, I can just show you how dark this is just going to sit in there and what it's going to do here. Now, next week, we're going to finish this guy up for sure. We're just going to go do some base things here. As you can see, I really want this light here because I really kind of want to start working on this breastplate. So next week, we're kind of working on highlights. So right now, we're just, we're all we're worried about is getting our base coats on here. 
and that's the most important thing now also for those of you that have just popped in um another reason we're doing this is so we can break it down quickly because tomorrow on youtube okay on rob's tabletop world we are going to be looking at 150 pounds of games that i got from gen con and we're going to look at some of the things and you guys can decide tomorrow where we want to go after this project here all right so you'll see all the miniatures and stuff that i got from gen con and uh i got a lot of stuff i didn't realize how much um i would just continually run back and forth with the help of keith collins hey trey how are you congratulations on the accurate video title description <laughs> oh i forgot we're on we're on the web always some guy that's gotta be silly whatever always a weisenheimer but um we are going to be taking a look at a hun of, oh i i weighed it and i looked at the labels because i actually had five of the boxes come in i have one more coming in tomorrow and at 6 p.m on rob's tabletop world that's my youtube channel we're going to be breaking down and talking about all the games that we got from gen con and why we got them and where they fit into my world so or my community's world more or less now you see how that goes in i want it to dry quickly and i'm not worried about getting a lot in there um and like i said um you, you know doing this this new painting series on twitch is a new experience so we're going to have some bumps and bruises along the way but um like i said we're going to come every wednesday on here usually if it's a big project i will start it on my channel rob's tabletop world but i did not do that today um my lovely brand new granddaughter came by for a little bit and i wanted to say hi and uh not only that but i was trying to catch up with a few other things we had a bunch of things to edit so just getting this in here another main thing that we want to do and let's go up top here all right and again for those of you that are watching on board game geek um the website you can click on the bottom link there to twitch and come on twitch and and um ask any questions any comments anything that you have we're here we're here to help and make a blueprint now this is a, a an out of the ordinary project just like the giant cthulhu guy uh, we're actually getting smaller which is if we just keep on going it just it's just going to get better because we're just going to get smaller and smaller and we're going to get to projects that you're going to like and um like i said tomorrow if you if you stop in and uh don't don't feel bad throw a subscribe to the old boy here uh, on Rob's Tabletop World on YouTube, you're going to see um, all the miniatures that we have that we are going to we're going to offer up. Maybe you guys went to Gen Con and want a blueprint done on how to easily paint something that I got at Gen Con. Well, it'd be a good time to see it tomorrow and then put it in the suggestions. Say you would like to see this on Painting with Rob. And we're going to come live every single Wednesday. That is the idea. So poor Aldi has to has to sit here and suffer through one of these every single Wednesday. By the way, right gamma, Mr. Scott Alden for Hall of Fame. That's all I have to say. I'm not going to beat it like a dead dead horse like I'm going to. Uh, because you're going to hear it once a week until he gets in to the Hall of Fame. Or until he tells me I can't paint anymore. Or I did something else wrong. I don't know. You never know. You never know. But um, this this dragon, um, for those of you just popping in, is going to sit right on top of this, this wonderful base here. And we're going to do a lot of different things here. So, uh, again, I'm just trying to get a little bit of this wash. See, see where it's sitting here a little bit? I don't want that to pool up and take a long time to dry. That's what I'm not looking for. I'm just looking to darken everything on this guy. I want to, I want to get that deep, deep dark red so I can build out 
and reds are really hard but we can make it easy and using um uh, we're using uh, a Karisberg Crimson wash uh, over a Mephiston Red. Now, these are uh, GW uh, colors or Citadel colors uh, for those of you at home. You don't want to look at me. Um, and just to show you, I want to show how we kind of work this in and so forth and so on. So, um, um, it was fun making the base. I'm going to show you how to make the base. Um, what I also decided to do, and, and here's where you can use your imagination, and this is, and, and I'm going to help you with, with some things. This particular base here, what I plan on doing, uh, uh, we went red there for a second. Okay, we should be all right. Um, the internet, because of the heavy storms, I, that was another reason I was kind of debating whether or not to go live today. Um, we've, we've had some horrific thunderstorms over the past couple of days. And I have not been able to, uh, I was going to kind of start with something else. I wanted to start actually with some, do some contrast paints with uh, Blood Rage. Um, but I think, I think we have enough new things uh, coming out that we don't have to go backwards. We can, we can build some blueprints for you guys, but we can always go to it. It really depends on what you guys want to see. This is your show. And what do you want to see painted? That's what it really comes down to. And just getting it in the face here and letting that dry that's going to be very key here and just moving see how I'm just moving that brush around I'm moving this wash so it dries quickly and that's what I want and usually you want to give it about 10 15 minutes to dry but if you put it on light it'll dry pretty quickly uh, let's see um, what else I, I was gonna tell you guys Boy, I had so much to tell you guys it, it was ridiculous had a great time at Gen Con with, with the big boys up there. Um, let me tell you something. Um, it, it's always such a wonderful experience to spend time with with people you care about. You know, Scott and, and Beth and everybody, they do, do such a fantastic job. Lincoln, it, it was a great experience. It was tiring. Um, it was a, a, a new branding and, and all kinds of things were going on. And it was the first time we were setting up a certain way. So it was a it was a tough day, and I was coming off wh where I was already exhausted um, with everything that happened in July with uh, my grandchildren and stuff like that, and then visiting my other grandchildren up in Connecticut. Boy, it, was, it just was a busy two weeks, and boy, am I glad to be home. And uh, most of all, I'm glad to be with you guys. You know, and... Uh, we are doing tomorrow we're going live showing all the games from gen con that i got so it's going to be a lot of fun if you like that kind of thing but you'll also see a lot of stuff that i don't think you normally would see there you go it was a tough setup everyone powered through yeah everybody was a a, a champion and um i i've, I've got to say that uh i mean what an amazing crew all they has what an amazing guy to begin with. I'm, you know, I'm not... I'm just calling it the way it is. He's a friend of mine, and I like the guy a lot. And uh, we just try our best to fit in there and do what we can. I see what I'm doing here. All I want to do is... Normally, you would let it... Um, oh. Come on, Rob. Get used to it. Let's uh, go to this camera here. Right here... Right here, it's pulling up a little bit, but I just want to move that around. It's nice because of the way I actually like it pulling up because it brings out some of that detail, but that's not what I'm looking for right now. That's not what I'm looking for because I'm going to go over our, our friend here with another color. And all I want to do is just darken up this red that isn't on here perfect, but we're going to have to be a little bit more controlled the next time. As you can see, it's bleeding over a little bit. But that's okay, because that's what we're gonna we're going to do. Um, and there you go. All right. So we've got a lot going on, and like I said, uh, um, tomorrow's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to kind of set up what we're going to do here on um, painting with Rob. And normally, okay, um, the first part will always be on YouTube on my channel, uh, only because I try to get the base coat junk done so when we come on um 
Twitch or or the YouTube uh, version of uh, Board Game Geek or you know whatever we decide to do, or how we decide to go forward, um, you guys get to see kind of the action. But today's one of those days where we're going to kind of we're going to do everything here, and then next week you're really going to see a lot of different things, and I think you'll really really enjoy what we're what we're doing here. Um, bu- 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 bu. Now. The next color that I kind of want to do is I kind of want to work on these wings a little bit, okay? And I'm going to take this brush out of the mix. I'm going to put that over there. And I'm going to grab myself another decent-sized brush. But I want to be careful, and I want to have a backup brush, uh, something a little bit smaller that I can get a little closer. So as you can see, i got two variants of brushes. One, I want to cover some of the bigger areas quickly, okay? And number two... I want to I want to have something so when I get close I can switch over to another brush and go right into it now I probably should you know the, the Citadel has some wonderful wonderful paints and what I could have done was let's move him this way and then we'll go up top yeah because we'll do the top of the wings here so um, Citadel really has some wonderful spray paints and what they do is um like you have a bone i could have painted him all bone and then been very careful with the red going over but i like sometimes i just like moving it myself so i can highlight it myself and for me sometimes that works the best way what do i know i'm just a guy uh, you know i don't have all the answers but for me I'm, I'm kind of making it a little harder, and I'm kind of doing it the way you guys might might do it. And and that's what I always try to do, is create a blueprint where you guys can figure out how to do it. And you're going to see here, I am just, this first coat is going to be very, very, it's going to be ugly. Oh, let's get this hair out. Oh, boy. There we go. All right. Sometimes when you when you work with a little bit of a cheaper brush, like I like to do, and I can because the flat edge of this brush, I can kind of, and I'm gonna tip this up a little bit here. You can see where I'm doing here, and I want this, and I'm using a Zandri dust. I'm trying to get in here close, so I don't have to make extra work for myself. But sometimes just to get the feel of a brush, you want to start in the middle. And let me just grab something here, folks. And you'll see where this is all going to come somewhat together. I can get this hair off this one brush. Hmm. When in doubt, bite it off. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to use this. And I'm going to take this here, and I'm just going to put a drop of water in here. And get that in there like that. Okay, there we go. All right, there we go. That's what we're looking for. And we want to get close, as close as we can. But if we don't, that's all right, because we're going to take another brush and work our way in here. But right now, I just have a nice control with this brush. And then all I want to do is just, because we're going to go over with a second coat. This is definitely going to need a second coat. There's no way around it. You're going to need a second coat, but the second coat will be so much easier and looks so much nicer. And that's a, that's some of the risks that you take in priming with black. So, you know, people always say, well, why, why, do you, why don't you use white or why do you use black? Well, black darkens everything up and that's great and it always works that way such cool camera angers sir well thank you bella sophia 64 oh hey that's the queen that's the queen of all reality it's not it's not often we get the the queen in here so um let's show you from this angle and i'll try to paint to the camera it's kind of nice that i have this uh this setup here um, one that the queen did not approve, um, and that cost us a little extra ching, 
and she was not too happy about it. She's still not happy about it, but I think she can see that the better angles really work. And maybe she will one day, you know, bend to or prescribe to the fact that, uh, hey, sometimes it doesn't hurt. You know, spend a little money, but um, I don't think she understood that well. Nor will she ever understand. That is my conscience there. Okay, i got to grab another brush here because the one that I had was not that great. And I'm actually going to use... And forgive me, folks. I know I'm taking a little bit here. All right, there we go. All right, I think this one will do it. All right, I think we're I think we're dialed in. I don't want to use my really good ones yet. Um, I just got some really nice Citadel uh, brushes, and uh, I don't want them to use them yet. So again, um, and this is where being left-handed doesn't help you when you've got the camera on the right side. But I am left-handed, if you if nobody's noticed. Just taking and just really coming over and and trying to be consistent with your brush strokes okay see how that 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 starts to fill in and and, and you know we're we're building a theme here with the big fella all right and i'm just going to do that get a little bit more where did i put the top oh okay here we go Get a little bit of water on there. Boom. Just a little bit. And come back over this area here and see if that's all we need there. Yes, I believe so. I believe so. And just kind of work in there. Now, this isn't going to matter because I'm going to go over this with a, a very dark um, brown wash. So it's going to blend together okay and then we're going to build these wings out these wings these wings are high highlight who the big fella is and and like i said you know today is kind of a last minute thing but i just wanted to come on and let you guys know that painting with rob will be every single wednesday here on board game geek and that see i'm going to actually try to change up here and go a little bit with my right hand just to kind of draw a line there we go and um, what we're going to do is we're going to be doing so many wonderful projects and hopefully giving you guys some ideas to pick up a brush yourself and try it yourself. Now, you can see right now I'm not doing anything really complicated. I'm just taking my time, working my way through. Get a little water here. And I always like using the tops of these because I can always wash them out in the sink. Just don't tell the queen that. I'll blame it on my daughter if the thing changes color. Poor Victoria. She's got to take some of the heat, right? Uh, let's go up top. Let's go up top. Let's go up top. Top down. Boom. All right. I'm checking to see if there's any comments here. And I'm just going where I feel like going right now. Where I feel I have the most control. Because you really don't want to go back and forth painting something. So you want to just take your time. Especially on these important areas right here. Okay, see how I'm drawing that line? I have good control of my brush. And I feel good with my brush. So I can, I can get in there and I can really kind of work my way around. So... How many of you have gone, and, and if you are watching on Board Game Geek, uh, the website, you can come and hit the bottom button there and come on over and just kind of hang out. If you want you want to ask something or say something, you can. Um, we are going to be here for just a little bit, closer to 8 o'clock. We're going to keep it to an hour. But we're going to just talk about all the things that we, you know, Gen Con, we can talk about painting. And uh, this project here, where this is going to look, 
Well, it's going to be a dragon. You know, I always like skipping around a little bit because if I just, if I kind of skip around a little bit, it kind of, just kind of puts me right where I want to be. You know, sometimes I see something and I said, well, you know, something that's going to start. Because a lot of this, believe it or not, folks, is really kind of mental if you really think about it. And I don't mean uh, in the wrong sense. I mean that psychologically, psychologically, a lot of times painting is mostly in your head. Nowhere else. It's in your head. And oh, good, we got enough water there so I can kind of keep that going there. And just seeing something, all of a sudden, you know, you, you see something start to come together. Like how this wing is starting to come together. And that motivates you, you know, it, it gives you a little bit of strength. A lot of times when you start out and you just, it just looks like a mess. And, and then, you know, even I second guess myself, like, oh boy, should I done that? Should I try to have done that? Should I, I go back over it? Should I X, Y, Z or whatever? And you'll just find that all of a sudden there's just that one color that you'll put on or you'll do something and it just all of a sudden makes the rest of the model just kind of come alive. It's, it's that thing that you look for and you wait for it and you look for it and it really makes a big difference. What time do we have? 31 minutes. Okay, we're 31 minutes in. That's not bad. We're doing all right, folks. And that's the whole key here. Um, we're going to be doing these claws here as well. See how those pop out? Boom, 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 boom. And we're going to want to get that. Just to give you guys a quick... I'm just showing because I just, I'm just i just hitting it a certain way. There we go. Now let's take a little more paint from over here. And just come in here. And the minute you don't, you feel you don't have uh, control, you just switch your brush. That's all you do. Remember, you control the brush. Don't let the brush control you. Or else you're going to have a really rough time. And we all have a rough time. But it's those rewarding moments that when everything comes together and everything looks good, and it all works pretty good. All right, let's put a little bit more there. Let's get, we're using a Zandri dust, and it's really working pretty well. Um, I think this view is pretty good for now. And uh, we'll we'll turn it. I'll pop it once once I finish the, uh, these two wings here, and then we can uh, we'll get another look at it. Uh, but tomorrow on Rob's Tabletop World, we're going to be going over the games that we are going to be taking a look at, and I'll get I'll, I'll just tell you one right off the bat, okay? Power Rangers, okay? Power Rangers. You guys want to see Power Rangers painted? here on board game geek tv well how will we know well you can either email us at nova prime 860 at hotmail.com you can come over to rob's tabletop world leave a message there um you can do a number of things there we go look at that and that win happened pretty quickly okay and I really don't have to go over it that much because I, I was kind of, as it was drying, I would go back over it a little bit and I got all those brush strokes because you don't want to see the brush strokes. There we go. Let's get that in there. And we got one wing done. That didn't take us long. We did more talking than we did Russian painting here. And just... See how my I, I move my brush here, and I, I'm gonna we're gonna come back down here for a second. I just want to show you these wings. See how I just take it and I move it. Always move your brush and stay consistent with the stroke, and you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. This is easy. Anybody can do this. Anybody. All right, let's go back up top. Let's go back up top. Uh, let's see. You can even visit Rob's Guild. Uh, oh, oh, okay, on Board Game Geek. That's true. Um, I don't use it that, that often, to be honest with you. I'll leave a message here or there. But, you know, what can I say? 
What can I say? You know, this is the first time I think that, that the queen watches my son more than she watches me, believe it or not. But that's only because she's a mother, and mother always watches their children. Because the husband can always take care of himself, but the children will always need their mother. That's what we always say to each other. All right, so up top here. Now, this is one of those times where I'm kind of in here a little bit, and I'm kind of uncertain of myself, but I'm just taking my time, working, working, working. If I make a mistake, guess what? We can fix it. We can fix it. We can fix anything if we just take our time. And that's the most important thing. And again, you know, we're, we're going to try to schedule these things so you guys can see that they're coming, uh, hopefully. And um, that way, you know, you guys have more notice when we're going to be painting. I'll try to inform you guys, but just count on something happening every Wednesday. We started before Gen Con with that giant monstrosity, which uh, I think... Um, Either I'm going to offer it to Aldi. I'm going to leave it up to him. Uh, and and have him send me one of his. And then repaint it again. <laughs> and auction it off for charity. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to auction it off for charity. Uh, some of you that may not have gotten it for Cthulhu uh, Death Must Die. Um, can look forward to that. And I think you guys will really enjoy it. And that's why we paint it so you can use it in the game and that's why we paint all this stuff so you can use it in the game right right all right now you see how that goes on there it's because i got too much water on there and um sometimes you run into a primer that kind of repels water a little bit because i try to thin my paints out a little bit and just sitting back and just really really just taking this in and and you can see where we're starting to come together what we're starting to have here okay these wings are starting to come alive and that's what we want you see what we're getting there now all of a sudden we're starting to get some depth of, of of him but all we're doing right now is just putting on our base coats we're not even trying to create light and shadow and all the things that are really easy to do you know people think Oh my God, I can't do this. You know, the, some guy will start come on and he'll start painting and say, "Well, if you take some medium and you take this and you take that." Now I try to keep it very simple, so you guys can just pick up the colors and guess what? Just paint, paint your stuff. You want to know why? Because they make these beautiful models for these beautiful games. And I do mean beautiful games. And, um, you know, when you paint it, when you put a little color on there, instead of having, having it be gray, guess what? It brings out the theme a little bit more. It, it You become invested because all of a sudden you see it. It ha helps add to the experience. And isn't that what's most important is just having fun and having a great experience? And sometimes, you know, when your friends come over and you, and you come over and you throw this big dragon on there, maybe maybe you're playing D and D and you want to have a campaign where you got to go fight a giant dragon. Well, you drag this guy out and you say, "Boom!" You put him in the middle of the table. This is who we're fighting, and this is why we're fighting him, and so forth and so on. And and people look at him and just go, "Wow, I get it now. I get it. I get it." It's all about bringing Im immersing the experience by doing this you are immersing someone into the experience by adding color to it because people are visual creatures and they like what they see fortunately my wife is not a visual creature because why would she have married me I mean take a look at me jeez gee whizzes Poor girl. So here we are. This is a little tighter here. And I'm feeling 
just I just got to slow it down a little bit because I've started to motor a little bit and that's the thing you got to be careful once you start getting into a groove just making sure you're staying on top of the things that you want to stay on top of here all right and don't get too overconfident because guess what that's when you make mistakes we also have this tail here and that's really going to sit up nicely um, I'm just going to paint the top part of it and we'll go go underneath when we turn it over but I kind of like what I'm doing here because this is just bone this is all going to work and we're going to work this this bone strip up into here I'm just trying to decide what I want to do whether I want to go with a, a deep gray or or what um, let me see here okay all right, we're going to turn him here, and we're going to we're going to take care of these squares here. All right, or triangles, excuse me, squares. Come on, Rob. He can paint, but he doesn't know his shapes. One of these things aren't just like the other. <laughs> and you can see what we're starting to get. We're starting to get some thematic feel here, and it's all sitting in there. Paint those paints. As my guy games. Yeah, I can do that. I can paint those paints. And blue sapphire, how are you? It's like Bob Ross with mini painting. Well, I've been doing it for a while. And if you like to check out, I've done quite a few things on, on my channel. Which is Rob's Tabletop World on YouTube. Check it out. It might be something you like or it might not be. But we play games, we paint. We do all kinds of things there. But the most important thing I want to do here is I really want to bring painting to Board Game Geek. And I think if anybody can do it, it's me. And Aldi has entrusted me with the keys to the house and said, Rob, get it done. We think you can do it. I think we think you can reach people. And um, they've been very kind to let me do this. For the last year, you know, we've we've, we've kind of started with our 101 uh, section and and just kind of working to this point where I'm just going to be live the rest the rest of my career here, shall we say? Let's call it that, yeah. And um and just bringing different things to you, you know. Different isn't always that bad, you know. You know, there's been times, you know, I'm I'm not a humongous Euro gamer. But I've seen Euro games and go, oh my god, that's fun. I want to try it. And then try it and I fell in love with certain things. You might just do the same thing. You might be a Euro gamer and say, well, you know something? I'd like to try to play a game with miniatures and I'd like to try to paint them. Or maybe I just want to paint. Who knows? Well... That's the beauty of it. You can try it anytime and see if it is for you. Right? You don't know until you try it. And practice makes perfect. You just keep at it. You keep swinging. And eventually you hit a home run. I mean, there are a lot of games that I really, really like you wouldn't expect me to like. But I do. I do. I really do. And it's such a privilege to come on here, Board Game Geek, and be able to paint with you guys. So I want to thank everybody that's watching. It means a lot to me. And uh, just having you here is a good thing. And if you look on the bottom, if you're watching from Board Game Geek TV, uh, all you got to do is just go over. Uh, down on the bottom, it says here, uh, click here to go to Twitch. When you go, you can add some comments. Maybe you have something to say. Maybe you have a question. Maybe you want to know something. Or maybe you just want to look, see what Twitch is all about, period. There you go. And see see how I have nice control I push down on my brush here I push down and I'm gonna bring this up over here a little bit because we're talking about these edges pushing and just knowing where your control is see how I drew that's almost like a perfect line there and just getting closer 
and closer but make sure that you can feel your brush in your hand see I can feel I can feel how my brushes are, are you really can you can you can feel how it moves and how it goes and how it how it kind of just slides in there and it just works perfectly look at that that's all we're trying to do we're just moving the brush moving the brush and I'm trying to do this where I can do it one coat but sometimes you just got to go back over it now over here this is a little more trickier because I'm painting away from myself so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn our model here and then look now you gotta think you gotta remember I'm left-handed you're gonna be right-handed but you're gonna do the same thing see I just push down a little bit I make sure I got enough paint on here and I'm just gonna push and run it along the edge nice and slow that's all I want to do boom boom just like that just like that folks oh boy this is this is fun <laughs> So how many of you went to Gen Con or watched some of the coverage that we did on Gen Con? Um, I had so much fun. I had so much fun. Uh, I, I always like um, hosting. It's a lot of fun. Um, I'm, a, I'm a little different than everybody else. I, get, I do get very excited when people come and I love talking to people. So, um, so I apologize if if I was a little too energetic to some of you guys I know you guys want more information than some clown being a clown but I can't help myself I like being a clown always was the class clown alright there we go look at that look at that alright let's take another look at it I got my little mouse here Kaylee we love having you as part of the team Rob well thank you it means a lot to me, and um, for me, it's um, just a very important thing. I just think a lot of good I can do. All right, see? See how these wings come together? Boom, 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 boom. Oh, it's Beth. Oh, I get it. I see it now. All right, see how this is? It's nice having Beth in here. Beth is, Beth is like a superstar, and... I'm going to pump her up a little bit because oh, let's go back up top here. Okay, cool. Now we're going to just lay the bad boy on on his back here. And I got a little bit here, but that's okay. We'll, we'll fix that later. We're not worried about that. And what we want to do here is we want to kind of start working these scales a little bit. All right. These are important here. But um, I don't think this thing runs as well i mean beth just has everything scheduled you know where you got to be how you got to do it what you have to do um if you get thirsty there's drinks there i mean everything is just so well organized and so well put together that that a lot of people just really just enjoy bringing their games there just to see everybody and they know that their game is going to be covered correctly and with respect and you know not you know give them a chance to let their game shine so you guys can see it and make a decision on what you want to do and that is just such a, a fantastic thing if you really think about it because not many people do that and um i just think being a part of this is just something oh, oh I, I just feel this last year has been one of the best years i've had in gaming and i've never been more relaxed and enjoyed things and wanted to to, to just help people as much as I do uh, everybody at Board Game Geek because of how fantastic they are. I mean, you want something written? Well, let me tell you something. Is there anybody better than Eric Martin? I don't think so. Um, he's just... He, he, the way he writes, it's almost like poetry in a way. And um, I just don't think he gets enough credit for how how well written he is and I mean I couldn't write like that I'm lucky if I can I can spell dog dog <laughs> but 
Now look at look what I'm doing here. I'm building his chest plate. And by building this chest plate, all we're trying to do is really just kind of have that that plate just sit up here. All right, I'm just kind of getting this here so I get an idea. This is not going to be the final way it's going to look, but I just wanted to get a little bit of an idea. What do I want to do with this? How do I want to make him stand up? And, um, and this chest plate really kind of guides me. It guides me to what I want to do with his skin. And I'm, I'm sorry if you can't see this. Again, this, you know, when we work with the smaller models, it's a lot easier. But right now we are using, we are working with this giant gorilla. And uh, of course, all right, there we go. Working in here. Don't get too fast there, Rob. There we go. And you're going to see how we're just going to get this together. Where are we at? We're at 51. No, that's not, that, not too bad, Rob. Be, to almost have this thing base coated in an hour is pretty pretty cool so when we come next week I'll have this completely base coated and uh, we'll just start with the highlights and that's where you're going to see this this model really come together and then we're going to work on that base because that base over there is going to have gold on it because what's he what was the dragon protect half the time his gold his gold or his kids it's kids are gold. Spuddy, this this as supports Twitch, and then it shows an ad from a company that owns Twitch. Does that even work? I don't know. I don't know. But um, and then to have such a humble and good leader such as Aldi, who belongs in the Hall of Fame. I've got to say it at least three or four times um, during the stream. All right, let's just get that base coat on there. Um, probably can put this down. Uh, okay. All right. So, and 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 with a bigger model, you got to be a little creative, folks. You got to be able to figure out where you're gonna, how you're gonna paint it. And the worst part about it is I'm doing it live. So, if I, you know, it's one thing to try to figure out how you're going to hold it. And then try to figure it out how you're going to hold it so you guys can see it at home. Boom. And I'm doing this all with a bigger brush. If you, if you do not feel comfortable getting in those corners, like I, I, I was telling you, um, do not be afraid to go to a smaller brush and just paint those colors in but right now i'm in the, i'm i'm in a zone so you just go with it and when you're in that zone you just go with it folks come on big boy and i want to come back over over there oh boom there we go anybody can do this all you got to do is just pick up a brush and have some faith in yourself and just, hey, I'll walk you through it. I'll help you. We'll build a blueprint together. We're going to have some fun. That's what this whole series is going to be about. That's what I'm saying. And I'm just double coating this. And you see, it just goes in there really nice. This is a great color to start with. What we're going to build out. This is a base color for us. We are setting the tone. This is not what we plan on finishing with. That's why I'm not too worried if I hit the edges. I'm trying not to, to cause too much work for myself. But we're going to go over this and over this with, with some different colors. And, and you're just going to see how this is all going to blend in. And, and we're going to create shadows and light. And I'm going to show you how to do it just very simply without making it over complicated where anybody can do it, folks. Anybody. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm nothing special. I'm nothing special at all. I'm just a guy with a little YouTube channel. A little bit of YouTube channel. 
Rob's Tabletop World. I just love bringing you guys painting and gaming and all the fun things and being a part, most of all, just being a part of this fantastic organization. You realize that nobody, nobody can do anything, all right, without using Board Game Geek, if you really think about it. Everybody has used it at some point, whether you are a media person, a writer, um, somebody that makes videos. I guess that's a media person, right? Everybody uses it. Either you have a guild here or you have a count here. Over 2 million people. I know it sounds like a commercial, but it's not. I'm just talking it up because, you know, this is an amazing place. This is an amazing place. All right, here we go. Uh, I think I can get this in here. And we're going to start adding in, uh, we're going to tie in uh, some Discord to this too. So some of you will be able to come on and, and ask questions as well. We've got a lot of ideas. We're going to try our best to tie it together. Hey, we'd like to have Scott on so you guys can ask him questions. Maybe you have a question you know, that you always want to ask. The legend himself. Well, we'll get him on here. How cool is that? Maybe we can talk him into making a personal... Maybe we can get Beth on. Beth always got something to say. <laughs> Especially when it comes to me. It's usually not good. But she's got something to say. All right. Let's... See, I just... I make sure I get this, this, this fat part here. And then I kind of... I kind of just, that's where I start to feel where my brush is, and then I work that line. All right, so that should be dry enough on the other side. Okay, good. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to work on these wings here. I'm going to get a little, a little water here, put that in here. It's my little mixing area. All right. And we are going to wait till you see what we got from Gen Con. You guys can let me know what you want to see painted here. We'll paint anything that you want. Or maybe there's something old that you want to see. We don't, the heck with Gen Con. Maybe you just say, hey, can somebody do Gloomhaven? Can you paint all the figures and show me how I can paint all those figures from Gloomhaven? Sure, I can do it. We'd be happy to do it here. We'd be happy to show you. Maybe uh, you got error. Era. <laughs> Medieval Era, the new game uh, that came out. That has a lot of little pieces. Can you show me how to paint buildings? Can you show me how to do this? Can you show me how to do that? Well, guess what? That's what I'm here to do. I'm here to show you how to do things. I'm excited about it. I'm excited to show you guys everything that we can do all right boom oh let's move him out a little more let's get this poor mouse out of the way come here buddy all right uh oh sometimes you miss an area it's okay too try try to take your time and slow down and not rush things like me oh my german shepherds like i said we are the most unprofessional Listen, board game geek is professional, but when I come on it, eh, we drop we drop a we drop a little bit, folks. In professionalism, I I try to keep things very simple. I try to make you come into my house and see exactly how things are in real life. You know, if you're painting, you're gonna have dogs barking in the background. You're gonna have all kinds of different things happening. Kids, grandkids. If you're like me. And I like to have that realism. Because that. That's how people really paint. They don't. You know not everybody has a room to paint in. Well I do. But. This is my gaming room. But maybe you have a gaming room. And you get interrupted. And you know I. I, I like to. You know. I like to pull a curtain back a little bit. I always have. 
never been afraid to do it. And for those of you that have followed me for years, I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to keep going as long as we can, as long as I can see and stuff. We'll just, we do all right. We do all right. I'm not worried about too much. We're going to be changing a lot of things, firing a lot of people. <laughs> This has just been a fantastic uh, hour. Uh, and, and, and you know, the funny thing about it is it's kind of been one of those hours where I just kind of, I just picked something. I didn't plan on going because of the weather. Um, I, I originally planned on getting something ready and showing you guys something different, but I could not get outside to, to prime anything, unfortunately, because the weather has been so bad here in Florida. Not bad, bad, but I mean, it has been really humid on top of it, so I haven't been able to get out in the morning. Like, I usually try to prime things early before it gets too humid. Because um, what happens is, when you try to paint sometimes, or, or spray paint something, what'll happen is that if you keep the can a certain distance, by the time it leaves the can and hits here, it's already dried. That's how hot it gets here. So you got to kind of be smart in what you do and things like that. We're going to go just, uh, we're going to finish up these wings. And uh, and then I'm going to stand this thing up. And you're going to see where we're kind of at as we, we pretty much got our base coats on. Um, but um, the other point is, is that, you know, um, you know, I was able to, I, fortunately I had this ready to go. This was a project I was supposed to do some time ago. But um, I just said, oh, you know what? Let's just grab it and let's just go with it. You know, sometimes you just have those things where you just kind of go, huh, this will, we'll try this on camera. It may not, it, you know, it may not be the most exciting thing, but there are going to be more exciting things. But you just got to trust me that we'll get there. We'll get there. We always do. Oh, 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 oh. Got a little bit of red paint on there. That's all right. We'll let that dry and we'll fix it later. Again, it's all about getting your base coats in. If you get your base coats on, that's where you start to build from. And you want to start building your guy out or 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 your army or depending you know we're, we're going to show you how to mass paint things we're going to show you how to paint squadrons of things you know depending on you know maybe you got 50 zombies you want to paint and we're going to show you how to speed paint those so you can get through them maybe you just got the brand new zombicide how would you like to see that painted all right we could do that too i've got a copy of that that we can do and i think that'd be a lot of fun and uh, the, the, the copy that, that we're going to paint, what's going to be cool about it is if you go to one of the conventions and you go to the CMON table, well, guess what? We're going to make sure that copy's there for you to play with. Because we've got some great backing from cool, uh, well, it's now, come on. Um, uh, Pete uh, has done a, a wonderful job getting us on board. And uh, we've come to agreement that we are going to try to help them get some of their stuff, you know, to be one of the North American artists for them. So we're going to get the table ready stuff for them. Not the greatest, but it's, I can get table ready stuff and, and you guys can play it. And you get to see it be painted here. I think that's kind of cool. Watch it on BGG and then guess what? Go play it at PAX. Or whatever their next convention is going to be. It's a pretty cool idea, huh? I don't think that's bad. All right. Here we go. I just want to go over this a little bit. All right, there we go. And again, I'm just trying to get as close as I can. 
and I'm not worried about what what we've got here this is just getting nice clean base coats on especially with these wings the first coat is the most important because you can do anything from there and just making sure that it's nice and even and you work it in there real well and guess what everything will come to pass this too shall pass all right I think we're doing all right here and just kind of working that and I haven't shut up for the whole hour so that's the other thing if you think it's just me not shutting up uh, you think I'm gonna just start this and be very quiet I'm sorry you're gonna be very disappointed I will talk you under the table because I can talk folks I enjoy to talk I enjoy talking with you I enjoy spending time with you guys um, it's kind of nice it's a nice contrast and, and and okay let's let's take a look here all right uh, oh, oh, come on big fella right there all right so let's, let's get a little look good solid base coats good solid base coats that's all we were looking for that's all we're looking for good solid base coats so now when we come back next week we are going to build this tremendous experience because you're going to feel like this guy's going to come alive because we're going to do a lot of different things getting the base coats working darkening up and then building outwards um, you're going to see how we're going to really make him shine okay we're going to come up with some ideas we're going to th we're going to think what we want to do here do we want to go bone all the way through here to here or maybe we want to try something a little different we've got to do his fingernails we've got some scaling back here we're all going to work on that and we're going to do two episodes next week so there's one's going to be on rob's tabletop world so make sure you're subscribed and that you get an alert uh, that'll be the first hour and a half and then the final hour where you really get to see this guy come out uh, and, and start to come together and we start to put him on the base and everything and, and we start to build this this experience um, it will be here on board game geek TV of course um, something I really really enjoy doing here um, all right let's do that so, I mean, there you go. Just nice, easy base coats. Nothing too complicated. Nothing too sinister. Nothing too hard. Uh, if you guys got any questions, I'll, I'll, I'll stick on. It's 804, so we'll stick on for about 5, 10 minutes. Um, and I'm telling you, um, this isn't all we do. We do a lot of other things. I, I do a lot of other things. And I plan on doing a lot here. You know, see the shirt? All right. Part of the gang there gotta have the 86 and then of course uh the wonderful bling job oops over here come on made it all the way here to florida too um the thing here is getting your base coats which are really important and if you notice i took that 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 one there were only three paints that we used this entire thing to get this thing right where it is okay um i used the fist on red bink okay um, I used a crimson, uh, a Karaberg crimson wash. I wanted to darken up the red a little bit more because we're gonna we're gonna bring that out. We're actually gonna darken it a little bit more before we start to bring it out. And and when we start to dry brush this, you're gonna see how how the scales kind of just start to stand up and they start to give you a dimension of, of light and shadow and that's anything in, li in life like my hand right here okay take a look at my hand and on this side it's getting hit by light on this side it's not that's what gives me dimension if i turn it sideways a little bit all right this is catching a little bit more light this has light okay or like so okay or look at the indentations in my fingers how do you how do you create that how do you bring that to life on a model that's why you're here that's what that's why I'm here 
to bring that to you, to bring that depth, to bring, to show you how easy it is to be creative. Color your world how you see it, how you see it. Maybe you didn't want to make this a, a red dragon. Maybe you wanted to make it a blue dragon. It's up to you. It's how you see things in life. It's how my dog sees things. My, my shepherd who's telling me, hey, I'm tired. I want to go to bed. See, that's what happens if I don't, if I don't uh, go right to bed, she comes out and says, uh, don't you usually go to bed at eight? Yeah, because I'm up at four. I go to the gym and blah, 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 whatever. But honestly, all in all, okay, you're going to see this thing meta metamorphose from the very first that we saw when we just had the basic uh, Mephiston and the, the black undercoat. And you're going to just see how this thing comes to life. And, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Build you a blueprint. Go to... I, this thing was not expensive. All right? This big dragon was only... Um, oh, God. What was it? I think it was like 29 bucks uh, uh, at, at Miniature Market. I got it. Um, it it's um, a Reaper Bone dragon. And I saw it and I fell in love with it. And I said, I want to do a big dragon matter of fact i want to do a lot of big dragons and i just came up with this whole thing in my head and and that i was going to build this beautiful dragon well that's what we're going to do we're going to do it together and we're going to enjoy it and have a wonderful time doing it so i think i said it all i don't think there's too much i can say but i will tell you this much i hope you enjoyed this i hope you'll be back next week um first on Rob's Tabletop World, and then here on Board Game Geek TV. Okay, we've got a lot of fantastic things going on. I think you're going to love everything that we're going to be doing, and uh, um, and uh, I'm going to show you how to, uh, to to build terrain as well. So we're just going to just have a wonderful time. Until next time, it's your old pal Rob, of course. But most of all, be good to someone be just just be kind to someone because it's not only going to make you feel good it's going to make that person feel good and like i always say tomorrows are not guaranteed i hope we get tomorrow and we get to see each other next week and do, and finish this and as always to the world you may be one person but to one person you may be the world and i can promise you this you all are my world and i thank you so much for joining me from all the guys and gals at Board Game Geek TV and Board Game Geek, the website. I thank you all. And of course, I'm Rob Warren. We'll see you soon.